Shalom alaikum. Welcome to Syrian Dishes Gardening. I'm Julian and today I'll be showing you how to grow cucumbers from seed in a container. So let's start gardening. These are the equipment that you will need to sterilize and sanitize your growing equipment before you start planting. You will need a 1 litre spray bottle with water, 100% cold pressed neem oil, some dishwashing liquid, seed starting containers, trays, boiling water, some gardening shovels, plastic containers, seed starting mix and some earthworm castings. To make the neem oil sanitizer, add two capfuls of the neem oil and two drops of the dishwashing liquid and shake. You will need to spray in each of the containers inside and under and your trays to prevent fungus gnats. To sterilize your seed starting mix you will need a container, add about 10 litres or 3 gallons of steed starting mix, it's in the big container, mix it around a bit, break it up. Because your soil is dry, you will need to moisten it and to sterilize it you need to add boiling water. Do not use garden soil from outside because it contains bacteria. Always use seed starting mix. Your soil needs to be moist but not too moist that it's too wet. Just needs to be just right, just like a cookie dough. Let it sit for a while, for about five minutes, so the boiling water sterilizes the soil. Then you will need to add one cup of worm castings to your seed starting mix to give it that extra nutrients and two teaspoons of neem oil. Mix it all together and your seed starting mix is ready. These are the equipment you will need to start your seeds. You will need the seed starting mix, some neem oil with water mixture, ground cinnamon, containers with drainage holes that I've already sanitized, the seeds, and labels. First thing we're going to do is add the soil into the containers. Fill them up just like that. I'll fill the rest of the containers and I'll come back. Second thing we're going to do is make a hole in the middle just like that. About a quarter of an inch deep. Make a hole for each of them just like that. I'm going to plant one seed in each container. I'm going to plant two cucumbers in two separate containers, but I'm going to plant them in one big five gallon container together. Cucumbers are nice in salads, that's why I want to grow two of them. I want an endless supply during this season. I just pack it in like that. Next thing we're going to do is spray them with the neem oil to prevent fungus gnats. Then sprinkle some cinnamon powder to prevent mold. And that's it. I'm going to place them in a grow light box for them to germinate. Once they germinate, I'm going to take them out and put them under the grow light stand. 
These are the equipment you will need to make a grow light box and how to use a heat mat. You will need a clamp light, a light bulb which has 1600 to 3000 lumens and 4500 to 6500 Kelvin. You will need a heat mat and a 66 litre plastic container which has a lid. You will also need a cardboard box to lift the trays of your plants to be close to the clamp light and you will need a marker and a box knife. The first thing you need to do is is to disassemble the clamp light. Draw with a marker the point where you're going to put the clamp light to hold the edge of your lid and the center. From the center all the way to the lid, mark a line using the light in the center. You're going to draw a circle or a square outline where you're going to cut the lid. Using a box knife, cut. So I've made a square cut in the middle to place the light globe. I've made a, another small cut in the middle for the spring, for the opening of the spring. Going down the slit, I've made another slit on the edge of the lid for the clamp light to hold on. I've put the light shade back on, screwed it in. Now we're going to screw in the light globe. I've plugged the power point. This is how it should look like. I'm going to place the heat mat at the bottom of this container. Originally I was going to put a box underneath but I don't need to because the container of the seeds are high enough for the grow light to reach. So I'll just demonstrate. And I put my seedlings inside on top of the heat mat. Put the lid on top. The light reaches the seedlings. If it was too low, I would put a box underneath to reach the light. Keep the seedlings inside the grow box for 18 hours with the grow light on and 6 hours off and keep the heat mat on all day. After the seedlings germinated, I didn't need to leave them in the grow light box and under the heat mat. I got two 2 feet light fixtures which are grow lights with T5 light bulb and stand which has 6500 Kelvin which is full daylight. They come in two brands that I bought, uh, which is Jiffy and there's Mackenzie. You can get them at any home department stores or gardening centres. After two or three days, you'll notice that the soil and your seedlings is a bit dry, so it's time to water. The only way you should be watering the seedlings is from the bottom and you put them in the tray and water from the bottom. Put water. And the drainage holes in the containers will extract the, the soil will extract the water from the bottom because that's where you need the watering to water the roots. Fill it up about halfway, same as here. Do not water your plants from the top because that's where you'll start getting fungus and mold growing. It's not good for seedlings. Keep them in the water in the trays for about half an hour to one hour and then I'll show you how to extract the water just to prevent them from getting root rot. It's been one hour and I'll show you how to extract the water. If your containers are small and there's no room, you can extract the water by just extracting it from the turkey baster and putting it back in the watering can. Or if they're big like these, just remove them and just dump the water. To make sure that your vegetables flower, you will need to plant some flowers also for bees to pollinate your vegetables. I'll be growing some marigold, they're beautiful golden yellow flowers. I'll be planting them with my eggplants and tomatoes and they're great for bees to cross pollinate. Make sure that your container has drainage holes and fill your container with a seed starting mix which is pre-moistened. Tap it down. I'm going to make four holes because the seeds are a bit big. Cover them up. Spray them with the neem oil. 
and water. Sprinkle some cinnamon and label them with marigold. They'll be ready to plant when your vegetables are ready to plant. Welcome to part four of this series on how to maintain and feed your plants. It's been two weeks since I planted cucumber. Now they have started developing their tree leaves, it's time to feed them with some organic fertilizer. You will need to get some organic water soluble fertilizer, which is close to 555, the NPK. I've got 3612. I'm just going to be using one teaspoon of this in some water you'll need a watering can a turkey baster and to separate the plants you'll need some extra containers you'll need the neem oil solution some cinnamon and the sanitized sterilized seeding mix now it's time to feed the plants i'm going to add one teaspoon of this organic water soluble fertilizer into the water mix it up always water from the bottom I'll feed the rest of the plants. I'll come back in about half an hour to one hour for the soil to extract the plant food. Then I'll tip the water out. It's been one hour and I'm going to extract the water. You can either use a turkey baster like this, place it back in the watering can, or if the containers are big like these, you can just take them out and tip the water back into the grass or back into your watering can. The next part is to take these plants outside to accumulate to the weather. This is called hardening off. Take them outside for half an hour to one hour each day, but always bring them back at night time. It's been four weeks since I planted the cucumber seeds and now it's time to plant them in a container. These are the equipment you will need. You will need some organic vegetable potting mix, some mulch or wood chip for drainage, organic vegetable fertilizer, earthworm castings, water soluble organic fertilizer, a five gallon container with drainage holes. This is the potting mix and the wood chips or mulch, a watering can, some stakes to hold up the plant and a trellis. First thing you need to do is add the mulch at the bottom of the container to allow drainage. Then we'll add the potting mix. Remember to remove any lumps. I'll add this all in and up to this line. And this is how it should look like, just up to this line. The next step is to add one cup of the earthworm castings into your potting mix and three tablespoons for cucumbers of the vegetable organic fertilizer. You'll need to do this twice during the season, one at transplant and the second time when the fruit sets. Just mix it all in, just like that. I'm going to be planting the two plants in this pot. So I'll dig two holes in here to plant the cucumbers, just like that. Plant your cucumbers before they start setting fruit or flowers like this. She was just about to flower, so it's a good time. All you have to do is just pop it out like that. Those beautiful, healthy roots. Just spread them out a little bit. Plant it in the hole, just there. And I'll do the other one. Pop it upside down. Spread the roots just like this, make a hole. The next thing we're going to do is add the stakes. I'll add one stake right in the middle. Next thing we'll do is add the trellis. Place the trellis right next to the cucumber plants. One on this side so it can climb up all the way to the bottom. And another one just like this all the way to the bottom. And this will be the climbing ladder. You can always tie them up once they start growing. Just tie them up with some twine. I'll add some extra soil just at the bottom. Next thing we'll do is add half a cap of this water soluble fertilizer into the watering can. Mix it up, water the plants. You will need to give the plants the water soluble fertilizer every seven days, but water your plants every day. Next thing we'll do is add the mulch on top of the container to help retain moisture. And don't forget to label. It's been five weeks since I transplanted the cucumbers in a container. Now it's time to harvest them. Cucumber in Assyrian is called khiare. I love using cucumbers in salads like fatouche, cucumber and yogurt dip, and eggplant salad. I'll provide the links to the recipes in the description box. So these are the cucumbers that have matured. I've got one here and one huge one here. This one I'm going to let it grow for a little bit more 
and then it's ready to harvest. So I've got two cucumbers I'm going to harvest today. Just snip them off like that. Look at that, beautiful. The other one, just there. There you go, nice fresh salad today. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video with your friends. Happy gardening everyone!